Good evening friends. Today we are going to see about the section 33.3 of ID Act and Rule 61 of ID Act regarding the union recognition review from the judiciary's point of view. What is what section 33.3 says? It talks about if we alter the service condition of the protected workman, what the implications will come and what should be done by the employer. That's what detailed in the section 33.3 of the ID Act. And what rule 61 of the ID Act which says about the protected workman. We all knows about who is called a protected workman, who is, who is from the registered third trade union and the Office bearer of the trade union to be notified to the employer and the employer has to inform yes I am recognizing these people as a recognized uh, protected workman and their condition of service will start to work from the day of this one that is what the rule 61 says and how they are electing one is from checkoff method we are deducting subscription from the salaries of an employees and another one is verification of membership by the labor department that is we are inviting the labor department and they will vouch from the records statements and the subscription all these things and they will come to know that this union has, has got this much and all these things this is the very prominent and uh, uh, available method of verification of membership at India and rule thumb this is another method of uh, recognizing the union by the employer how many people are say yes how many people are say no in that way the union recognition will happen and another one the, uh, types of recognizing the union is secret ballot system and uh, other thing is code of uh, discipline defined under the uh, government of india and what are all the problems will come when we are organizing the union the employer what are all the circumstances the employer will refuse to recognize the union now we are going to see from the judiciary point of view in the case of karnataka state transport corporation versus their workmen in this case the empl employee is found guilty the workman is found guilty and even though the uh, the, the union has uh, represented him as a protected workman subsequent to that the employer is refused to recognize that person that is one case in the another case uh, that is kesoram cotton mills versus uh, gangadhar mills employer has a right to suspend an employee provided under the standing order here uh, one protector workman was uh, found to be guilty and uh, his name was referred as a protected workman. After that, the union uh, fought for not to take any action against the union office parents without uh, informing to him or he is, uh, he, he should, we should not take the, uh, take the action against him like that they stated. But in the case of Keshoram Cotton Mills, the court says yes we can take action and uh, the employee was suspended in the kanga that uh, if the standing order provides so standing order plays a vital role while we are drafting the standing order the product what the product uh, productive workman status to be mentioned very properly and carefully uh, because in many of the times many of the standing order doesn't having uh, have all these things well, who is called the productive workman, what are all the uh, responsibilities, duties, privileges and all these things to be detailed in the standing order. Uh, in, the, in this case, the Kesoram Cotton Mills has got the Paka standing order. In the case of Gujarat High Court case held that the union didn't apply for recognition but the company did not recognize it since there is no obligation. The dispute raised later and the AC Supreme Court confirmed that. The petitioner is the only union available and so to be recognized. Here, there is no union at all. Uh, 
uh, but the, after some point of time, the one union has started and the registered union has represented that they have to be recognized. But the so the employer uh, employer is not ready to recognize. But the Gujarat High Court said that yes, only one union is available. You have to register them. Uh, sorry, recognize them. In the case of Karnada High Court in Kanara workshop versus uh, presiding other, the employer reply is mandatory seeking recognition before the labor authorities. Here, under Rule 61 also says, if an, uh, if the union represented that, these are all the obvious bearers who, whom to be recognized. That is the first instance. That subsequent to that, the employer has to verify and he has to reply within such day. That is 15 days from the on receipt of the and this one uh, that is the union should represent before the uh, 13th April of every year uh, the person to be recognized and the 50, on receipt of 15 days the reply from the employer is necessary if the employer has not replied properly or reject the application then automatically in the case of Karnada High Court in Kandra workshop versus presiding officer the employer replies is mandatory seeking recognition before the labor authorities that matter went to the labor authority automatically by the represented by the union and the uh, labor officer said that the employer has not replied and it will automatically uh, consider for recognition and subsequent to that many are in many of the cases court struck down the things and all that was happened in the following cases and we will see in the following slides in the uh, disciplinary action against union office bearers and found guilty of misconduct. In the case of Kerala High Court, the choice of individualized office bearer that is rest with the, always with the union, registered trade union. The employer cannot ask to choose a person, he should be the recognized uh, office bearer and all. That is the western responsibility and the authority is with the registered trade union that is what that is highlighted in the kerala high court uh, judgment and also management preferred the indra court appeal under the division bench decided on 3rd november 2010 reversed the above judgment and it said that the union to either contest the same by raising the dispute before the labor commissioner as provided under the rule of 61 here the refused to recognize by the employer even though the uh, the, the union uh, can approach the labor authority for getting recognition that is uh, available under the law that is rule 61 of 4, 4, 4 of rule 61 in the case of bombay high court has ruled that only recognized trade union can enter into one settlement and uh, others independent that is independent are not authorized to do so that was very clearly said that the negotiation collective bargaining and other things can be held with the recognized union and the other independent people are not able to do approach for wage settlement and all and they have to accept the terms and conditions reached by the recognized union and the employer in case of balmarari union Bombay and others, this judgment was given. And also, the recognized trade union have duty to submit the returns to the registrar within the stipulated time frame and failing to do so can result in penalties. That is also interested in this case. And in the case of Armstrong Design and Arcmate India Manufacturing Private Limited, the Assistant Labor Commissioner, a petition was filed before the Karnada Court challenging ACL order to recognize as a productive man. Here, a misconduct employee was shown as a productive department during the filing of the letter to the employer. The written communication came to company to recognize workmen who found guilty as a productive department. The what the labor authority said that the recognition of the workmen to be done, uh, recognition of the workmen to be done as a productive department so you have to do that. In the meanwhile, the employer also approached the labor commissioner for seeking the permission under section 33 for, for to implement the order, dismissal order. In this case, 
the yeah, labor authority refused to uh, refused to give the approval for implementing the dismissal order instead of that the labor authority asking the employer to give the resignation earlier the company right to acl to perform the dismissal the acl return letter to a company to resign the product recruitment who leveled the charges in this case the question before the karnada high court was whether acl was correct in comparing the product recruitment status of workmen found guilty of misconduct the karnada high court clearly said that employee found guilty of misconduct cannot be considered for recognition as a product recruitment under the act and set aside the acalc order and there are some observations were found during the judgment who is seeking the product recruitment status for his service whereas a trade union is duty bound to furnish the details out by the employer and cannot refuse to do so there is no automatic recognition of a workman as a product recruitment and the employer are vested with the discretion to provide the such so recognition based on the workman behavior and the contact so the employer can decide whom to be recognized and the numbers sufficient numbers are not there the employer can ask the registered union to give the sufficient names after verifying the records and all the employer can recognize the employer is having the all the rights since the product recruitment status offered a yeah, safeguard to the certain obvious players of a trade union that is not available to other workmen employer have every right to ensure that the status is not misused and provided to genuine person only if the workman is found guilty in respect of allegations evaluated during the employer or entitled to deny the product recruitment status to them even if a workman has com- committed minor offenses they are registered a trade union requested for product recruitment status can be denied so minor offenses also the employer can deny the product recruitment status for this misconduct the court observed that allowing workmen with the poor conduct or questionable behavior to become the product workmen would set bad the incident leading to the use of privileged status to escape from the wrong doing in the case of hnl life care limited versus hindustan latex labor union hindustan latex labor union nominated a workman to be recognized as a product of the employer the employer refused to recognize him as a product of the because of some disciplinary action they approached the commissioner of labor and uh, under section 4 of rule 61 assistant labor commissioner directed the employer to declare the nominee ajay prakash as a product of the and uh, the writ filed by the management before the kerala high court the kerala high court clearly said that make it is mandatory for the employer to recognize the list of such workmen nominated by the union under 611 and the land also clear that management is entitled to decline the recognition to a person nominated by the union for recognition as a product of recruitment if any disciplinary proceeding is pending against such workmen the honorable high court told that it is in view of the management rightly declined the nomination as a product of recruitment under the decision of the assistant labor commissioner overruling the decision of the management is is unsustainable right to nominate any office bearer by the union for the purpose of recognition as a product of recruitment is neither an absolute right or or an unfettered right a charge sheeted work workers nomination as a product of recruitment by the union can be rejected by the management nomination of the workman with a dubious character or doubtful integrity is nothing but brazen attempt to derive undue advantage of the provision of the law the authorities to whom cases of dubious employees are referred must be careful and judicious while exercising their power they should not form an opinion that the workers or union is always legally right very famous judgment and they reiterated uh, for this uh, time in the industrial revolution and the industrial relations uh, what is happening in across the nation and uh, the kerala high court clearly said the union should not forgotten that organization don't need the 
trade unions. Trade unions need organization to survive. If there is no industry, there is no trade union. Trade union members should think that first instant they are workers of the organization and then trade union leaders. They are paid by the industry to do any industry work, not for trade union activities. So these are all the some of the points which were observed during the judgment of the Honorable uh, High Court and uh, State Courts and all. So why I am presenting this one means when we receive the application from the uh, registered trade union, we have to see that any disciplinary proceedings is pending and any uh, inquiry is going on or he has conducted any misconduct or any charges are leveled against him and also uh, the considerable amount of uh, people represented if many registered trade unions are there how to recognize that and all available in the section 30, uh, 33 as well as rule 61 so in by reading the sections and the provisions and also judgments we can easily implement for recognizing the union otherwise the court observations are very stringent and they are mostly the in the recognition of the union the court mostly given the judgment in favor of the employer because always the union will make the application without studying who the workman status quo and all so here Again, I am reiterating the point that we have to study the records of the workmen by the representing the union. Thank you and I will meet you once again. Please subscribe if you wish to uh, useful for your knowledge updation and all. Thank you. I will meet you once again.